chipped around today. The top three finishers of this of this season are already determined. Already determined with CC taking their matches earlier. But four through eight are wide open, and it's gonna be uh, it's all gonna be determined in this next couple hours. There we go, three, two, one, and it's game time, baby. We are live with matchup two of the last week asterisk of the season. <laughs> of course, we do have some makeup games to play after this one, but things are starting to shake out. We've got the top three determined. One and two will be, I believe, still technically open. We'll solve that another day. Third place is going to go to CC, and then, then these teams are going to help round out the rest of those rankings. Getting things kicked off with 2v2. Lavac and Matt versus Special in Memphis. SSOW taking an early lead here on Rankin. Ooh, going down, though, to the flak. Not sure uh, what happened to Lavac there. But he does get a sniper rifle in his hand. We're going to disconnect from him a bit. See what happens here. You got that flat cannon up top. Dropping down onto Lavac. He's going to be a bit vulnerable down there. You see him back up and hit that sniper shot. Smart move there by Lavac, Getting out of range of that flak. Taking him out with the sniper rifle. And allowing his teammate to grab that belt. And get in position perhaps for the first hand. Memphis with a nice sniper shot still up top of his own. We've got 12 seconds to this amp. Such a small map like this, every amp is so critical. There you see half apps in position, special jumping in. Special grabs it, but Lavac with the kill and the amp sniper rifle now on the run. To find someone to try to tie this one back up. Looks like Matt takes care of that for him. Taken up top. From them, but the thing is, you're not really going to hold the top area in this map. Like you're doing 44, a nice combo up there. That's great teamwork right there, communication. Be right where he was, finishing him off with, a, with the enforcer and the double kill right there. So Lavac and a killing spree started off as a slow amp run, but able to locate some targets, hit some shots, and uh, pull ahead with th pull ahead three and grab that shield belt. So a big turnaround there. And if Lavac gets rolling. Can be a really scary person to play against, especially in 2v2. Ooh, you see him taking his time there, not wanting to rock it himself, lining up that sniper shot. Doesn't quite hit, but one more shot away from a kill. Backs up into the goo, though. So losing track of that bio rifle shot, and it costs him a little bit of health and a little bit of time, but 100 armor will be spawning any second now. There's the shots on special. Oh, and Matt with the finisher with the flat cannon. So we've got both power-ups spawning at the same time now. Hunter Armor is going to get taken by Matt. Lavac goes down to Memphis. Let's see uh, if Memphis sticks around for the belt. Looks like Memphis is going for the belt. Amp is up. Matt's the only one anywhere near that belt. If Matt gets hold of this Amp with the sniper rifle, it could be trouble. Special does grab that belt. But ooh, there's that Amp sniper rifle of Matt. Special did not want to turn the corner into that. Deletes that shield belt. Another kill on Memphis. Looking for the spawners. Doesn't get it. Matt sends him away. So 13 to 7 now. Slowly building this lead as half fast. Of course, plenty of time for SOW to stage a comeback. Lavac and Matt, two very high level aimers right now. So them running around with sniper rifles is going to be a tough thing to fight against. Especially if they can keep. Stacking up those 100 armors and getting those amps in their hands. Shield belts, though, for SOW, they have been able to contest those. So here we go, another belt coming up. This time, ooh, Matt dropping down on it. He has a flat cannon, but... Ooh, around the corner. Memphis able to isolate Lavac and take out Matt. So smart move there by Memphis. Still getting away with 80 HP. Able to separate half abs, take them down one at a time with that link gun. Probably not a great position for him to fight out of, but managed to survive and get the double kill. So smart play there by Memphis. Still though, a 10 frag lead for half abs. This amp's coming up. And Memphis is up top. 
but uh, Lavok's going to end up snagging this one with an amp sniper rifle and a hundred armor. And again, this is going to be trouble for SOW. As either of these half-abs players with an amp sniper rifle, sniper rifle are going to be extremely dangerous. Kill after kill already coming out for Lavok. Missing absolutely nothing right now. Nice shoot there by Memphis, but uh, not much damage on the block. He's going to have rockets out, missing the shield belt. So again, SOW contesting the shield belt effectively, but not able to get much out of that. Memphis again trying to track them down with the link gun. Lavak this time taking cover and using the uh, the sniper rifle effectively there in a nice combo up top again. Hmm. I'm, I'm going to guess that uh, he hit the wrong bu button there. <laughs> yeah, for people wondering, they did start 2v2 first. Um, Trinitech was missing for half abs, so they wanted to go ahead and get things kicked off. We're going to have 2v2, then 4v4, I believe, and then finish it off with Duel. Lavat finally goes down. Was on another spree. We're going to head over to Amp. It spawns in five seconds. See the fighting down low over it. Matt heading over with the sniper rifle in his hand. And uh, again, Matt and Lavok, two of the people you uh, are probably most afraid of getting an amp sniper rifle in their hands. And so far, it's been all half abs at this point. Yeah, if there's one thing worse than, uh, than Matt with amp sniper rifle, it's Matt with amp sniper rifle and 150 armor, so half abs right where they want to be right now in control of this map. Ooh, special does take him down though with that link gun, so aggressive play there. Taking him down and... We approach the halfway point of this one though, still a 16 frag lead for half abs and building. They are not going to give up any room, and again, both of these teams with everything to play for. Half abs can go all the way from the bottom of the rankings up to fourth place on the day. So looking to make a strong impression early on. They would have to win every single point though to get up to fourth place. So while well, they have a great opportunity here, can't afford to uh, take any of these games for granted. Every single map's gonna matter today. So there you see the pressure from SOW and Lavok with the double kill up top. Amp is actually spawning and you have to be careful here when you kill people across the map. Sometimes they can get a good spawn and steal that power up from you. Lavok gets it in his hands, but he's gonna go down to Stinger. Matt's behind him. Special though with the Amp Stinger able to take out both of them. And this is a chance for SOW to get something going here. It's been pretty much all half abs out after the opening minutes. But we're only about halfway through this one. That Amp Stinger again, putting in work. And when you're playing against people who like to snipe, oh, nice sniper though, to continue uh, that Amp run. Oh, goo to his face. Matt takes him and Special out. Belt's gonna be up and there's gonna be a fight over it. Look, looks like Memphis is gonna steal it, so. Last couple power-ups going to SOW, changing this map's uh, composure a little bit. Still only down 14, so plenty of time to go. They need to, they need to scoop up more of those power-ups to go in Amp runs and uh, get some shield belt grabs like that. Again, if they wanna come back into this one. Yeah, we've got some talk in chat about whether half abs can manage to pull off the perfect day back-to-back 5-0s to pull within fourth place of this league. I mean, the truth of the matter is, SOW, L3, and half abs have all been teams that have shown they're dangerous. They've all taken maps you know, from teams where they were perhaps the underdog, they can definitely, you know, win any given game against anybody. But with L3 and SOW alongside them, they've all got chances to, to shuffle around in the rankings. So we'll see who flinches here. Right now that shield belt gonna go to Matt, winning that battle. 
Only a 13 frag lead here, so half abs hasn't really extended this lead in the last couple minutes. And that's largely because SOW had been grabbing those amps and shield belts, but now Matt with armor and an amp sniper rifle. This is the opportunity that he wants to put this one away. Ooh, another shot peeking down to 50 and another one. Matt on fire right now. He did manage to get him, uh, get him with the rocket, but he's gonna have that 100 armor behind him. And another shot. See Matt. 31% sniper rifle, but uh, hitting quite a few in a row there with that amp, and that's gonna give him a kill every single shot. Basically playing insta get whenever you have that amp sniper. What a nice combo falling away, protecting himself from that stinger. Up to a 20 frag lead now, and yeah, that that minute and a half or so with those power-ups and that amp run. Adding another six kills. Make that seven to their lead. And this is where half abs needs to uh, Try to run away with this one. SOW, for their part, this is where they have to make a comeback. Because this is pretty much their, their last opportunity to really get back into this one. You can make up frags quickly on Rankin, but in 2v2, not nearly as easy to churn them out as in 4v4. 10 seconds till this amp spawns. It's going to be a key power. It looks back up. Special gets the headshot to fight him off. It's a special here with a chance. Another shot on Matt. Two seconds till this one spawns. If Special can grab it. This would give them the chance they needed to come back into this one. But can they find these targets and can they hit those shots? Ooh, there's one shot by Special coming out. He's getting what he wants right now, but just not landing it. See a little bit of uh, ping issues for him as well, although not nearly as bad as Matt. Oh, there's the killing spree by Special. Can one more shot? This would be huge. Oh, goes down. Matt able to get him with the flak. Bouncing around down there. Still fighting over that belt. Or that belt area, rather. Memphis going down. So everyone really kind of trading down there. And that's that dangerous sort of alcove that the 100 armor is stuck in. You see Matt waiting on that 100. Nice move by Memf or by a special, rather, to push him off of it. So Matt now with nothing. No armor. He does have a shock rifle in front of him. He'll have the opportunity to help. Special though getting another kill. Special putting in some work with the flat cannon right now. Pulling within... Striking distance, but again, clock completely completely on the side of half abs. SOW is gonna have to put a nice streak together here. Oh, the turnaround. Oh no, Lavac, the turnaround sniper by Matt and Lavac with the help from the flank. Nice teamwork there. Matt stealing that shield belt. Lavac actually takes him out. He was pretty low on health. And actually, this amp is up. I'm not sure who has timing of it. Matt's over there grabbing it off the spawn. Again, we see sometimes when you kill someone by the 100 armor, excuse me, by the, uh, by the shield belt, they can end up respawning right by that amp. Even first dibs on it. And now you're facing a 44 damage enforcer. Special able to get the double kill with the sniper rifle. Big play there. Especially if he can make something happen with this amp. Lavac, though, knowing the situation... Spamming him with some stinger and really kind of hiding. So now it's up to Special to try to find somebody to make use of this amp on. And he doesn't. So great job by half apps of just avoiding that amp runner after losing it. At this point, with 16 frag difference, under two minutes to go, it's going to be very difficult. So if you're half apps, all you got to do is survive here. If you're SOW, you can't afford to be backing up and trying to. You see they're going in, trying to hit the home run shot with the link primary. Doesn't land. Take a quick look at that scoreboard there. You can see that amp really making the big difference exactly even on 100 armors, pretty even on belts. SOW's been doing a good job of contesting belts. So even when half abs is grabbing, they haven't often gotten away cleanly. I've seen a lot of trades down in that belt area. But those amp runs that half abs was able to go on really making the difference here. Special looking for the combo over by Bio, not going to land. Belt, or excuse me, uh, Amp is going to spawn soon. But Matt's going to shoot him off of that, grab it for himself. And that may be what seals the deal here. It's going to take a miracle at that point, and it looks like uh, Matt with that Amp and a couple of kills. Going to take map one of this matchup.
Ten seconds to go. We'll peek at the scoreboard again. Dropping big 5k damages are both of half abs members. And yeah, really those the amp control making the difference there. Able to go in a couple of uh, kind of four to seven frag amp runs in the middle of the game. And that really put half abs ahead. And from there, they just rolled from there. Armor's pretty much even. Damage going to be on their side. And uh, more importantly, map one going to half abs. I uh, believe, I expect we're going to be switching hubs now. Probably to London for map two. Take a look. Looks, looks like we're going to have a chill as map two, and then if needed, solo will be the tiebreaker. So they're sticking around in the server. Okay, so they're going to go out, probably start this one on London, so it should just take them a moment. We'll back up and get ready for that one to start. I'm going to use this opportunity to take uh, another bite of my Thanksgiving leftovers and... Uh, I encourage all of you to do the same. Uh, shout out to the British Empire for sending out the uh, crazy fundamentalists, religious fanatics, over to North America. Um, that's the reason that I get to eat ham and uh, stuffing and cranberry right now. Does Australia have the equivalent of a Thanksgiving? I know, I know Canada has one. But I really feel like uh, we probably have more in common with Australia as far as, uh, you know, the instance, the circumstances that led up to Thanksgiving, so. Uh, I'm seeing another... Hmm, I'm seeing a server still up in New York. I, I doubt that. I'm pretty sure they're going to go to London for map two, so. Australia Day. You know, I have to say one thing I will give Australians is they have the most creative naming conventions for things. So to call their their like uh, their holiday Australia Day, I have to say is very disappointing. It's so fun to say a lot of the you know all of the Australian kind of native words. Cause they're very phonetic, right? Australia Day, not not the height of their creativity over there. I did watch a guy uh, play a didgeridoo in person the other day at, at a festival. So that was kind of fun. Canada actually has a, has a Thanksgiving. They even called it Thanksgiving and everything. And they even do it like six weeks before the U.S. because they have to try to be better than us.
I mean, truth be told, as I understand it, Thanksgiving as a national holiday really became what it is here specifically to kickstart the holiday shopping season. Like, it wasn't even like an accident or coincidence. That was very much like a, a federally planned idea. I do like the idea of Boxing Day, though, except I, I, I wish it was a little more, or maybe a little less literal, I'm not quite sure. The idea where you all just get together and take out all your aggression, and just kind of box in the streets. And then that way, when you start the new year, you know, you're, you're fresh, you're not holding on to any grudges. Maybe we should just start Kickboxing Day. That'd be a little bit more well-rounded, you know, boxing get a little bit, uh, a little bit boring if you watch too much of it. Aren't there, like, I feel like I've read about multiple, um, I don't even remember what countries, but I feel like there's multiple kind of traditions in, like, small towns and, you know, places where basically, like, there's a big fight, essentially. And it's, there's always something goofy. It's like a big game of pin the tail on the donkey, but it really ends up with, like, 80 people just punching the hell out of each other. Sounds like something the Irish would do, but I'm not quite sure if that's where I read about it. I could see that being Eastern European as well. If I ever get to do my wide world of, you know, of esports kind of idea as like a YouTube series or whatever, maybe I'll expand. I'll show some esports as well as some, uh, I don't know, blood sports. Maybe I'll do a wide world of blood sports. There we go. Yeah, that's fair. I will say this, uh, St. Patrick's Day is the number one drinking day in, in, in America, which is kind of interesting. New, new Year's Eve, I believe, is number two. All right, here we go. Looks like players are readied up. Here we go, 3, 2, 1, and it's game time, baby. Con X5 here with map 2. We just saw half abs taking Rankin. Convincing manner, and now they're going to be on chill, trying to take the first point in their long road to try to climb these rankings. They've got a double header today. Oh, and exit next right. Goes for a tour of the mountainside and negates that kill early on, back tied up 0 to 0. Hundred armor does go to half abs though, so Lavac with a chance, and there we go, pulling back ahead. Ooh, and special makes some pay though with a combo. And now Lavac's gonna be on the run. We do have this shield belt spawning soon. Let's head over to it. See special with his back to it. Take it away. Exit next right, but Lavac up there with the jump boots, able to push him away and take it. A smart play there position-wise by Lavac, but SOW still with a two-to-one lead. It's 
see the game of cat and mouse fighting over that 50 armor. Avok closing the gap, taking it. Oh, in the mid-air, Enforcer shot. Not even necessary as exit next right. Turns the corner to help finish him off. And we're at a tie game. About a minute and a half into this one, and Amp spawning right now. Will you see the grab and the flak? So special with it in his hands, but only 38 HP, so he's got to be a little bit careful here. Ooh, going for the fancy mid-air jump boot combo. Doesn't hit it. Does get the double kill, though. So uh, early up three is SOW. Trying to parlay that. Ooh, can't knock him off the belt. So a gutsy play there by Exit to stand in there and grab that belt. Now special. Pretty weak in mid, but smart move picking up those health packs and going up that lift to protect himself. Oh, it's special. With the shock primaries to the back, you're easy pickings when you're in midair like that. And right now, SOW in control of this map. Still 10 seconds until this 100 armor spawns, so I expect to see a fight over it. Special on a killing spree. And another flak ball. Lavak able to get a kill before that, but now Special's going to be in position to try to grab this 100 armor, and he does. 15 seconds until this belt spawns. He'll actually have jump boots spawning at about the same time. So keep an eye on that. Jump boots obviously going to make every power up easier to get on this map since they're both elevated. And flak ball is just flying out from Special K or Special One. Doesn't have. Ooh, nice turnaround combo on Lavak. A nice call out by his teammate. They do grab that shield belt and the amp, so every power up just being dominated by SOW right now. But can they turn that into some kills? Because you figure Half Abs is going to make a run of their own at some point. Ooh, turning the corner with that amp, facing a flat cannon. Got to be careful there. Two shots from Exit, going to push him back in the mid. Lavac going to try to chase him down. Three seconds left on the amp. A bit dangerous to try to track down the amp runner with three seconds left, but there he goes. Turns the corner and exit takes him out. Still a five frag lead, though, and we've got 100 armor spawning right now. We'll head over to as you see exit taking that. He still has jump boots. We can navigate the map pretty well. You have belt spawning in 10 seconds. We're going to back up a little bit and see SOW fighting them off, but you see jump boots coming up, pushing exit away. And the block up there with them, though, giving them cover. Now they've got 2 on 1 in mid. But Special comes over to try to lay down some cover fire. And they do get one kill, staying within five. But with 100 armor spawning any second, you're going to see a fight over that. You see Special with the combo and exit. Special right now making the pay for their aggression. Still down to 21 HP. No one able to grab a weapon to take him out. Lavak the only one with 100 armor right now. Amp spawning in five seconds now, and he's just going to be waiting on it. Let's see if he has anyone trying to shoot him off of it. It looks like he's got special sneaking around the side, but he's going to get a clean grab. This could be huge. Lavak can go on a run with this Amp. Pull him back into it. Unfortunately for him, no sniper rifle, not even any shock ammo. All he's got is flak, and so he's going to be putting down some damage. Nice shots there to defend himself. Oh, misses the jump. There's another full flak with Amp, however. He will have dual enforcers if he wants to pull those out. And there he does. In mid, that wide open area, not going to get a whole lot of flak opportunities. He goes down to the sniper shot by special. So up to a seven frag lead now for SOW. They also grab shield belt in that fight and uh, continue to run the map. There was an amp run there by half ass, but they didn't really do much with it. So we got a little bit of a downtime with the power-ups. Let's take a quick look. You can see the amp time more than double for SOW. Half abs fighting them off of the shield belts, but uh, damage output right now, all SOW. The lock dropping a flat ball. Special's gonna have to back away there. Ooh, and the lock one shot away from knocking him away. We do have both power-ups spawning simultaneously. Let's head over to them. 
in a second. We do have 100 armor spawning, but first it's going to be Belt and Amp. So right now, SOW kind of on the run. Jumping up top, though. Dangerous move. Lavac's going to be in his face. Lavac grabs Amp, gets one kill, gets another kill with the flat ball right to the grill. Huge double kill there, pulling them within four. SOW is going to be respawning, but they're not going to be in position to really fight them off of this Belt. So Exit grabs Belt. Lavac with the Amp. He's down to 29 HP, but gets a couple kills. Ooh, he misses that jump up there. Exit's going to be by himself. Dangerous situation. But Lavac turns the corner with Amp, gets another kill. And those two power-ups were absolutely massive right there. Pulling within three now as we approach the halfway point of this map. And there's that sniper rifle. Lavac hasn't had it much in this game because it's a little bit out of the way. Kind of a dangerous weapon to grab if people are expecting it. And there's the killing spree. Two snipers in a row as soon as he grabs it. Ooh, flak ball to his teammate, but also does some damage to Special, who goes down. 100 armor up, that's going to be in Lavox hands, just narrowly avoids that rocket, but now he's got to be careful. He's down in mid, but Exit's going to be single, singled out and taken out with a nice combo by Lavox through the window. But looks like he's going to have to fight one more fight over that belt, not going to get it. And SOW with a chance to grab it, eats a flak ball, but a clean grab there for SOW. Down to 23 health, however, so exit. Smart move, taking out taking out the shield belt who had low health. It's back up. We do have an amp spawning now any second. Ooh, you see the fight over at SOW pushing them out. Only 31 HP, though. Both SOW players weak. See him just trying to push people away. Exit can get one more shot. He can't. Back to a three frag lead, still only nine HP. If Exit can make one of these shots land, he can take out the amp run, it can't. In fact, neither player could land anything, so Lavac in the backside just gonna clean up a little bit, pulling within two. And SOW with a dangerous amp run, but still surviving. Oh, and there's the kill by Lavac. Only a couple seconds of amp left, so not really gonna matter much. You have Lavac up at the belt early. Special taking out Exit. The block had to jump down, so we're going to have a bit of a fight over the goo, though, by Exit on Special. Clears the way, and now lavox has got Belt ready to attack this 100 armor area. There's the big flat primary tying the game right back up. Oh, a huge combo on Special. Trying to follow it up with some flak. Almost down. One more shot's going to take out Special, and Special with a nice dodging. Only 8 HP, but had the Link Gun able to survive. 100 armor is up right now. You see the kill. Special actually did manage to grab it. Went down immediately. We have an amp spawning next. See Exit and Lavac trying to group up here, but Lavac goes down. Exit's actually getting ready for this belt, but this belt's not for another 20 seconds, so a huge mistiming here. Off by 20 seconds, allowing Special to get the amp instead. That was a huge turnaround there. Big mistake by half apps completely mixing up their timings. And in a close match like this, we'll have to keep an eye on that one because uh, that could be... Something we look back at as a turning point. As it is, fortunately for them, Special only has a flat cannon. So no, not much ability to uh, do a ton of damage with that amp. In fact, goes down, so exit next right. Big play, they're able to negate that amp. Has it, not much damage gonna come out from it, but big mistake with the timing, but managed to negate it and, and kind of avoid any kind of crazy turnaround from it. So nice job there by Half Fabs uh, coming back after after what could have been a big, uh, a big mistiming mistake. So that said, half Fab's back on top. And SOW not able to capitalize on that. But five seconds until this 100, 100 armor spawns, you're gonna see exit next right, in position up there, special down low with those combos, so dangerous on that bridge. Gonna have rockets and combos. He's gonna make the run and grab it. Both players up top by, for half Fab's. Neither one of them takes much damage, so a dangerous spot to be in. Oh, but rockets to the face, you see them giving chase. The bot gets the kill. But, uh, looks like Exit took most of that damage. Special chasing down Exit. No, Lavac not able to get the shot off. Does do some damage, though. We did hear that shield belt spawn. So, oops, let's back up to it. Special again grabbing Amp. This time in position. Misses the shield belt. Lavac slides in right underneath him. So, you're going to have Amp and boots and shock rifle sitting right up there. Lavac's gonna be heading over to it. Special's across the map. He's not gonna be able to fight him off it. So Lavac now with amp sniper rifle. 
in great position to try to pull ahead a little bit further. Up by three, this may be the biggest lead of the game for half apps so far. There's up by four. Remember, SOW. Sorry, SOW started off with a quick lead and have been hanging on to that, pushing it all the way up to, I think, double digits at some point. But in any case, Lapak with that amp run storming back, now up by five with three and a half minutes to go. And this map is so fast, anything can happen, but. A nice job by half apps keeping their head in the game we did see them with a bit of a timing miscue but didn't didn't get punished for it too bad so still focused but lavac down to 38 hp no health out there he's got to be careful any shot will take him out we're gonna have this 100 armor spawning next and then we're gonna have an amp right afterwards so we're gonna stay with lavac because he was in position a big double combo there to push him away they do get the kill on the bot. Excuse me, on, on exit, but the bot gets the kill on special. Ooh, just missing that sniper shot. He's gonna have to be aware of this amp spawning right now. 100 armor's actually up. Misses that last second shot. And now we're gonna have SOW with an amp run and a chance to try to pull back into this one. Ooh, Lavak with the kill, turning that corner. Ice is that run. Things are definitely not out of reach yet for SOW, but that was a huge kill by Lavak. Turning down that amp. That was probably SOW's best chance to pull back into it. They will have one more opportunity for an amp run. And again, this map is so small, you can definitely rattle off kills in a hurry, but that was a critical moment there. Oh, the headshot in midair by Lavac. You're such a sitting duck when you're in midair like that. You're such a predictable trajectory. Big shot there. Lavak deciding to just back up and grab that health. Smart play there. Again, knowing they had the lead with time running out. Looking up for that amp. It's not going to spawn for a while. You have eight seconds till this 100 armor, though. The rocket's coming out. So Lavak going to grab that 100. We have Belt and Amp spawning soon. Looks like there's more people fighting over Belt. The box killing spree goes down to special sniper shot. We have Amp up. Belt up at the same time. Looks like everyone's going to be fighting over the 100 armor area. Nice midair flak by exit, but now we have this Amp spawning. SOW going to get a free grab of it. This could be their last opportunity down 11 with a minute to go. See the amp run here trying to find targets. Lavac doing a great job of staying kind of holed up in that rocket launcher area. They get the kill, but it takes them a while. And you see him hiding underneath that ramp, making great use of the geometry. Only 40 seconds to go in a 10 frag game. Looks like this is going to be a win for half abs, taking that first point of this matchup and a first point in a long day for them. They're trying to uh, trying to run the tables if possible. They win a pool within fourth place of this season. They're going to need all 10 points that they're fighting for today. So off to a good start, but SOW for their part. Also trying to climb the rankings, so. Point one, going to go to half abs. We're going to move to the 4v4 TDM portion right after this. Each one of those maps is going to be worth a point in and of itself. And of course, we'll have duel right after that. So half abs with a nice comeback that round. SOW was actually up up early, had control of the map, um, just couldn't really convert enough kills off of it. And then when half abs was able to take back control, they just outscored them whenever they had advantage. So there you go, first point of the matchup going to half abs. And uh, let's see, I believe we're probably gonna start on New York again, or they might start on London, who knows. We'll be ready for them though. Uh, in either hub. Looks like most players are still in London, so we do expect that one to pop up shortly. And again, we're gonna do 4v4 now. 
Okay, looks like we're gonna be on Goose first and then Deck. <laughs> yeah, half abs, uh, kind of a, of a Frankenstein team, hence their name. Uh, I mean, I'm sure some of them also work out, but uh, not the nature initially of their team name. Um, I think they might be leaning into it, though. I'm sure some of them have been doing some crunches. <clears throat> of course, they're only half abs, so you can only do... Uh, crunches on the, I guess you have to turn your, turn your knees and do the, like, the obliques crunches. You can only have abs on one side. <clears throat> um, and while we're waiting for this server to fill up, they did want me to mention, uh, of course, follow... Raise Your Edge Gaming and UT Pro League on social media. You've got YouTube and Twitter for UTPL. Um, of course, there's a Twitch, Discord, and Twitter for RYE. You'll see the bot sending that info in from time to time. And any donations to UTPL, that's via you know Twitch Prime or actual donations, will be added to the prize pools for this season. So keep that in mind for those of you perhaps wondering how you could donate. You can also get in touch with Fragim if you need more info on the details our illustrious kind of a point man for this season. Yeah, chat wondering, uh, we've had things play a little bit out of order here, so we did the 2v2 first just because um, half Fabs had someone kind of AFK for a little bit. Oh, SOW with an interesting strategic move. So they're actually going to put a player of theirs on half Fab's team. Um, it's kind of an interesting strategy. I mean, because then half Fab's, you know, since we're playing with team damage, Memphis could actually kill his teammates. So it's actually a, kind of a bold strategy. Um, I don't know if he's going to be in voice with half Fab's too. <laughs> <laughs> all right looks like we're gonna get things even out here um i am curious now is lavak gonna play 4v4 as well or are they gonna save him for duel that's one of those one of those questions again you can only play two game types so matt here playing 2v2 and 4v4 so matt won't be dueling uh, likely because it's harder for him due to his ping um you know, he's from south america so he has a Pretty high ping, as you can see, in North America, and even crazier ping in Europe. So it looks like they're keeping Matt in for TDM exclusively. Sir coming in for 4v4. He didn't play 2v2, of course, so... He would be open for duels. And Lavat coming in, so Lavat going to play TDM. It looks like we do have, according to the website, Sir and Exit Next Right, we'll be playing against Screams and VO3, uh, respectively, for their duels. So that's why you're going to see Exit sit, sit this one out. And Sir coming in after that 2v2. So we are on Goose, uh, UT2K4 original. Again, for anyone who uh, hasn't heard me talk about it over and over, we do have a really interesting mix 
of maps that were original to Unreal, UT99, UT2K4. Um, I think we have some UT3 ports that are perhaps in the works. I don't know if there's any being played in this season. Um, definitely in the works. And of course, some UT4 originals as well, so... A good combination of maps from all the different eras. And uh, of course, there's people still working on new maps as well, completely original as well as remakes and ports. So look for some of those coming up next season. Um, again, they will be shifting this map pool around, so if you have strong opinions, suggestions, thoughts, feel free to take part in that discussion. Players are ready. Here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, and it's game time, baby. Kinex 5 here with the 4v4 portion of this matchup. We just saw half apps taking the first point of the day for them. They've got a long one ahead with a double header here. SOW, though, just in front of them in the standings for this season. So trying to take some more points back of their own. Goose, one of those maps that's a little bit trickier to play. There's not some super obvious control points. Now that we have the 100 armor moved right here where we're seeing special run around, that is one of the more obvious spots. That's one where you can hold people off of, you can grab those hundreds. We've also got some spawns in there that you can you can kind of harvest a little bit, kind of farm some kills off of it. Kills back and forth and all over the place, but let's break away as we do have this shield belt spawning in 10 seconds. And of course the belt up top, you've got this jump pad at the bottom. That's going to leave you very vulnerable if you're jumping up into anyone who's waiting for you. Getting up top early for these belts is extremely important. Ooh, Matt falls down, missing the first one. So SOW grabbing the first belt, but looks like they're gonna go down in mid. And half abs in position around this bottom area. You see you've got the shock rifle down low, sniper rifle around the corner over there. So typically pretty important to have at least one person rotating around the bottom area as well. You'll also catch sometimes a lot of spawners jumping down there. See Matt getting a kill on a damaged player. Amp's going to be up right now back in this corner. Lavac will have a chance to grab it. He's extremely low on health, however. He might be waiting to see if a teammate can pick it up. sir has got a little bit more health, so he drops a sniper rifle and gives that amp to his teammate. Hoping to make something happen. We do have 15 seconds till belt spawn, so he might be able to find some SOW players getting in position for that. Right now, they're all hanging out around that 100 armor area, however. Sir, getting a little bit impatient. There's the shot, turning that corner. Two in a row, waiting just to find the other team. Grabs himself the 100, and that was a big play right there, although the uh, belt did go to SOW in the meantime. Oh, a big combo by Sir. You're so vulnerable up there by that 100 armor, you really have to... Uh, Find a way to protect yourself if you're holding that area because people can hit you from so many different angles. There's a lot of movement possibilities in that room as well. Ooh, Sir with the team kill on the Vok and goes down. So only a six frag lead now. That turned around very quickly as half apps had a huge lead early on. Now down to four as SOW has come. Storming back trying to retake control of this map. Ooh, Seth with another kill pulling within two now. He goes down, only had four HP. We're gonna head back up as that belt up top is about to spawn in the top down view of his mats up top set back i'm trying to fight him off but matt's actually going to grab that we do have the amp spawning as well but it looks like sow is all over it no challenge from half abs stream's going to be yelling at his teammate for stealing the health away from an amp sniper rifle runner but Ooh, eating some link from Matt. Matt able to take him down, ending his spree and grabbing himself an amp sniper rifle. That's going to be trouble for SOW. He finds him off the spawn. Another kill coming out. If he can just get that sniper lined up. Ooh, Memphis actually surprised him around the corner. There's that link on finisher. And just like that, back up to an eight point lead for half apps. So 
belt spawns in eight seconds. We're gonna back up again. SOW has been challenging it pretty effectively. This is probably the most people half fast have had on that belt. And there you go, Matt grabbing it. Matt's been on top of it, but hasn't always been able to control it. Been outnumbered a couple times. Oh, rockets coming in from Memphis, able to dodge most of the Matt. Extremely fortunate there. And rocket fights on that on that little ramp right there is so scary because of how awkward it is the way the uh, the way the splash damage happens. It's very easy to take a ton of damage. You see Matt going up after that damage amplifier, but Seth gonna grab it again. Sir takes him out, but it's still sitting there on the ground. And this one's gonna go to Lavac with only 10 health. Wouldn't be surprised to see him throw it to a teammate. Finally gets the kill on Seth. Okay, looks like he's just gonna back up and maybe uh wait for some enemy players to turn that corner for that shock. A nice bait there. Heard screams coming. Knew he was gonna go for that shock rifle. And uh, after a slow start to that amp run with only, I think, 10 health to start with, Lavac making uh, making the most of it, getting a couple kills, extending this lead to 16. So we're about a third, away, a third of the way into this one. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. Damage all half abs. Belts uh, being contested by both sides. Amps contested by both sides, but half abs have really been the ones to go on a couple, uh, a couple of big runs. Um, putting a lot of damage output on them and, and really getting those points on the board. That's what's key. Especially in this game where you can drop amp if you die. Grabbing the amp is one thing, but uh, controlling it and possessing it's really the key. Belt is up. We just saw it up there. Sir was able to grab that. We'll follow him for a bit. Actually, amp's going to spawn. Let's head over to there. Kind of surprised to see Sir and uh, and Half Abs all circling around that hundred armor, not even challenging the amp. I don't know if they're just lost timing of it. That's gonna allow uh, allow Special to get some damage output, but Matt sneaks around with the rockets, getting the kill. Big play there by Matt. He screamed up in his face, taking him out. Now Scream's gonna have an amp sniper rifle in a few seconds to try to get some damage output. 100 armor is up, but it looks like uh, SOW had rotated around. So SOW controlling that 100 armor right now. They've kind of been trading back and forth control of that 100 room. And that's about what we expect. Again, kind of the, the key uh, default control room, if you will. Even though the shock and sniper are around the outside near amp. That 100 armor is so important because of how commonly or how frequently it spawns. Belt up. Oh, kills off of it. Combos from below. Screams, though, does manage to steal it. Lavox down up. Ooh, down into his sniper rifle. Was on top of him trying to snipe him. Or down trying to combo him, rather. And one thing people have to keep in mind, there are jump boots. You see him down in there underneath that bridge in the water. Can allow for a lot more interesting ways to, uh, to attack that shield belt up top. We have amp spawning right now. Let's head over to it. Now this time, complete opposite situation. This time half apps all over that amp. SOW not in position to challenge it. Ooh, diving into a sniper rifle. Dangerous with only 45 health, but Lavac gets away with it. Uh, but Seth makes him pay eventually with that rising sniper shot. That's gonna give Screen a chance to grab. Amp with a flak to the face. Oh, a double kill. And another kill on Trinity from his teammates. So half abs all getting wiped out. That's a four frag uh, flip in just about five seconds there. The entire half abs team goes down. So they have to be careful here. They're up by 14, just past the halfway point, but they can't afford to get wiped like that. Head over to this 100 armor spawn. We do have Trinitech down low by it. Memphis fighting him off with rockets. And 100 up. So Trinitech getting the kill and the 100. So a good win there, especially with uh, 
Special sneaking around behind to try to flank. He actually goes down, but taking that 100 armor with the trade. And you can see the emphasis SOW putting just training teammate after teammate in there trying to keep control of it. And Sir got that rocket launcher, able to fight him away. Stinger versus Rockets up close. Rocket's going to win that one. Let's head over. It looks like a shield belt was taken. We do have amp spawning right now. And these, these teams just taking turns controlling that amp area. Lavox giving chase, but uh, Special able to take him out. Special had some shots he wanted right there. Oh, the shots trading back and forth. 100 armor is going to go to Matt. So belt comes up. That's going to be snagged. But so far, kind of a quiet last couple minutes. Still maintaining about a 13 frag lead, 14 frag lead. Or excuse me, up to 16. So SOW kind of keeping themselves in it, but they haven't been making much progress. They still have a good amount of time left. But one amp run one way or the other can either get them right back into it or put it away for half ab. So we're going to keep an eye on this one. There's only about three left in this game. Look at Lavoc just throwing goo around. Combos out, takes him out. He actually killed him with the goo there, baited him into it. So a big play there by Lavoc. See if he can survive. He can't. Gets one shot out. But now SOW is going to have the amp in their hands. Ooh, the nice shield belt still right there by Seth, right in front of a couple half abs members. So SOW only down by 19. Actually, it's going to be pushed up to uh, 21. So half abs continuing to, uh, to churn out the kills. SOW not giving up. They're doing a good job. You can see the power ups still going back and forth. And in fact, amp almost even now, and shield belts actually in SOW's favor. Gonna break away and head over to this 100 armor. Respect to see a fight over this. Spawns in 10 seconds. In this room, been a consistent battle for control. No one able to really assert themselves permanently in here. We have one second. Looks like 100 armor up. No one actually checking for it. Looks like everyone's getting in possession for belt. So we're gonna head over to belt. You saw screams back there. Pick it up. Looks like half abs in position up top here for belt. They grab that. Amp's going to be spawning right down below, and Sir is going to be heading over. Only one player to take out. Ooh, special's really weak, so this time half abs actually gets there in time. Lavoc actually throws him a sniper rifle. So Amp sniper rifle with that shield belt going to be so dangerous. Looking for the shots. Can't. Good, good, good uh, job by Sir, not shooting through his teammate there. Another amp sniper shot comes out. The finisher with the amp link. He actually has multiple spawners down low outside, but couldn't get a clean shot. But with that amp run up to a 33 frag lead, so half abs right now looking extremely strong. And look how even their kills are distributed. Even the damage, pretty even amongst all of them. The 100 armor is up 20 to 5. So while the belts are in SOW's favor, that 100 armor, again, that area is so key to control in this map, especially in this game, even compared to the 2K4 version. Basically, one more amp run. Actually, probably about a one and a half amp runs worth of amp time. Extra for half abs. Really asserting their control in the second half of this one. Looks 
like we're gonna have another amp spawn this time special gonna grab it he's been on top of them special has been contesting virtually every amp just hasn't been able to do a whole lot with them whenever he gets hold of them oftentimes half apps has him outnumbered and uh sometimes killing him right after he grabs it nice shot right there as a chance for a oh amped headshot with the overkill oh the spawner right around the dosi -si do Nice shot there, able to avoid the goo and get the fallen sniper shots. It's special. Showing that he's still feeling pretty good right now. And, uh, you know, seeing if they can bring us something in map two. But map one on Goose. Gonna go to half abs. They continue their quest. Trying to climb the rankings today with this double header that they've got. There's the countdown for before map one and the second point of this matchup going to half abs. I believe we're going to be moving over to the other hub for map two and map two is going to be, let's see if we can find it here. Uh, it looks like we're going to be on deck for map two. So pretty straightforward. We'll head over to the London hub. I do anticipate it moving over there. So we'll be back here with map two, or I guess uh, the second 4v4 TDM map in just a second. I'm going to take this opportunity to take a quick bathroom break while I get that set up, and I'll be back in just a moment. Right, deck is up. We are jumping in here shortly. All right, well, Matt's restarting there. We'll give you a quick recap. Again, this is all before today, but half apps technically last place in the league right now, but with two games today, again, they're, they're doing kind of a makeup one today. Total of 10 points available. We know G's not gonna score any more points because they just played their last round today. So with 10 points, half apps could surpass them and BRD for fourth place. BRD does have a makeup game to be played in the future, not today. So still a possibility that BRD could pull and take fourth place themselves. But if you're half abs, you have plenty to play for today. You've had kind of a 
you know, you're looking at a low points total right now, but a chance to uh, more than double that today. In fact, more than triple it. SOW for their for uh, for their side. Uh, also, you see that a clan war behind. So again, plenty of shuffling left to do. But half abs right now up two to nothing so far in this clan war. Let's see what they can do with it. Uh, as soon as we get back into this one. Here we go. Looks like everyone's in the server. And again, to clarify, you've got L3 will be playing half apps next. So another team right there in that mix for that fourth, fifth, and sixth spot. And really, fourth through eighth, I suppose, is all kind of up for grabs right now. Players already. Here we go, three, two, one, and it's game time, baby. Connex five. We were on deck for map two. The 4v4 portion of this matchup. We just saw half apps take points one and two of this one. Trying to climb their way back up the rankings. SOW trying to do the same. Sitting right above half fabs in the season rankings. Like early on, this 100 armor going to be set upon by Lavak. Really untouched, kind of surprising. We'll see if he uh, decides to take it over to control another area. Looks like he's kind of just chilling, waiting for that shock rifle to come up. He has a rocket launcher, so pretty uh, comfortable down there. Knows he can fight off anyone he drops down. There he goes, just waiting for it. There's the kill. He does have special waiting up top for him as well. Ooh, almost a big combo in the box. Survives that onslaught. Now he can move over and try to clear some room for someone to grab the shield belt. Special grabs. It goes down into the drink, but gets the kill. Does Memphis with a double kill, actually. It's a big plays there by Memphis covering his teammates. Staying even so far. We've got, got a high-scoring affair already in, already in this one. Is It's 11-7, to 7, so everyone on half abs just went down. Five straight kills in about three seconds there for SOW. Oh, nice jump there by my Screams getting the headshot on the Vok and a back-to-back -back headshot by, by uh, Screams. We'll go on board with him. But Matt managed to grab that amp, so we'll see what he can do. Taking out Memphis. Ooh, had the combo lined up, but gets disrupted up close by Memphis. So Matt goes down with that amp and up to a 9-frag lead now for SOW. Make that 10. Off to a screaming start here. Amp Sniper on the box, taking him out, jumping to that belt. So already an 11 frag lead. Up to 12 for SOW, has completely taken over this map. So you can see right now, uh, SOW definitely wants to hold the top portion of this map. Kind of a classic strategy. It definitely gives you access to the damage amp down there. You get, you know, the shield belt at the bottom there. Be curious to see how half abs counters that. And look, you see the entire team, SOW's entire team just ran up to the top deck. So very clear what their intentions are. Not exactly a secret strategy or anything. I mean, that's a common one, but it's also one that does have its counters. So we'll see if uh, half abs can come up with something. Is there? Pulling back within range now. Only an 11 frag lead. They need to go on an amp run though. Special's got this one with only 10 HP. It's actually a dangerous spot. If he gets out there in the open and gets taken out, you don't want to give up an amp run to uh to half apps right now with the chance to try to get some momentum going. He does just that, goes down to the spawner and three SOW players going down. Amp in the hands of Sir trying to take top. He's gonna decide to drop down and try to get an easier shot. Maybe find himself a shock rifle. He does just that. Ooh, and 
Screams there showing the advantage of having rocket launcher in the pit versus just a shock rifle. Able to escape, but in the meantime, half apps pulling within nine, so cutting it to a single digit lead, which is definitely within striking distance on this map in particular. Still very early on in this one. Do have the belt spawning soon. Let's head over to it and see. Uh... Ooh, SOW gets blasted. They drop down onto it. Two people. They do run away with it. Lavaka in a killing spree. Let's see what he's doing. Oh, we do see the first goo kill of the match. Probably won't be the last, however. Ooh, rising rockets versus flak. Dangerous jump there by Lavaka. Ops not to jump back up there. Probably because he saw that flak cannon. Actually, we do have the 100 armor spawning there soon, but first and foremost, we have the amp spawning. Nine frag game. Every amp going to be so important. Not just to grab it, though, but to do something with it. this amp. So dangerous at times to grab the flak ball to the face. And did the amp drop out of the map? No, it looks like Sir ended up with it. Okay. So Sir going to have an opportunity now with 15 seconds. Still half of the amp time. Tons of targets below him. Nice shot on the sliding Memphis. He's going to have plenty of people to shoot at. Dropping down to control that belt as well. So not a huge amp run as far as kills go, but gets a couple. Knocks SOW off that top area. Grabs control of the shield belt. And pulls within two. So a huge amp run there. Not just with the kills, but also with the, uh, with the control. Oh, sir. With the Kamikaze kill on Special, who was eating him up with the Link Gun. Probably a decent trade there. We do have 100 armor spawning down here in the pit. Let's get a look at it. Looks like lavox has been hanging out there a lot. He's going to be down in there standing. He actually still has 99 armor, so... Wouldn't be surprised to see him send Trinitech. Yep, Trinitech's going to go down there to grab it. So a couple of players with 100 armor now. For half abs, that's going to be good for them if they want to try to, uh, again, flip control of this map and try to take the lead. We do have Belt and Amp spawning at the same time. We head over there. You see both of them in view here. Lavak now in a Rampage. Screams grabs the Belt pretty easily, actually, and nobody's sitting on the Amp. So SOW getting knocked off the top, making things a little bit messy here. Lavak trying to give chase from underneath, but you're going to get a grab by Special with only 29 HP. He is being chased down. He gets one shot off, but he goes down. Lavox going to have this amp. He goes down. Matt grabbing it and goes down. So nobody really able to make anything happen with this amp. Lavox trying to get the kill with the piston. So these teams just trading back and forth. Amp not really doing much. But in the end, still a five frag lead for SOW. We're going to move over to the uh, belt as it's already spawning again. And this time, Lavak a little bit early. He's waiting for it. Oh, the flak versus rockets up close. And the goo kill to follow it up. So the weird trade there. Awkward fight over that bridge. Oh, death over the pit. And now SOW going to steal that belt. And Scream's going to be on the way to the pit with it. Still plenty of time. So the next power-ups, but that 100 will be spawning next. See them sharing some weapons down there. 100 armor did go to special, although he's only got 5 HP. Ooh, Lavat. Able to get the kill 2v1. Nice moves with the flat cannon. Now we've got an amp spawning. Up to a six frag lead now for SOW. Just past the halfway point. Half abs has to start getting some amp runs going. They've been contesting them and not really getting anything off of them. See him not able to take these shots because his teammate's in the way. And down to nine HP. He's got to be careful. He's looking for someone to get an easy shot on. Special comes behind him. Knocks it down to the pit. Now they're going to be using that. Oh, falls into the drink. Takes a couple of ticks of damage there. It looks like the uh, amp's going to expire without much damage. Oh, actually, an amped rocket gets shot just in time to take out Trinitech. But half abs pulls within one in the meantime. And again, Scream showing the, uh, the 
acuity with the rockets down in that pit. It's such an easy place to lose track of yourself. You have to have some sort of like, I guess the equivalent of body awareness. You know exactly where you are so you don't rocket yourself in the face, but it can be so effective with the splash damage. Oh, Matt pegs him with the rocket up top. Almost another one. So you see the amp and the shield belt getting ready to spawn. Stream's throwing all his weapons to his teammates. Nobody grabbing him, so interesting, interesting trade there, but... Here we go, shield belt and amp spawning. Big set of power-ups here as we go into the final third of this one. SOW continues to dominate that shield belt and the, and the amp, so half abs there. A couple of kills, but nowhere to be seen near either of the power-ups. This could be a huge turning point for SOW. They're going to try to pull away here. Scream's now on a rampage. The falling headshot on Lavaki does go down. And Sir now picks up this amp. Still a few seconds left. He wants to knock some people off that top area, but there's nobody there. There's a rocket on Memphis, but you can already see SOW gearing up to try to take that top deck area again. We have 20 seconds to the belt, so we'll back up a little bit. Who screams down on that belt early. It doesn't spawn for another 13 seconds, so he's going to be extremely vulnerable. And perhaps even worse, he's going to have some dead air here, not doing anything. In the meantime, gets touched down from the shock rifle, knocked into that pit. All they had to do was pluck him down once, and now that belt spawns. And Special's on it, but he gets taken out by Lavox. So what could have been a big grab there? That belt instead goes the other way due to the missed timing. So big miscue there in a close game. Half abs now up by two, or excuse me, only down by two. And 15 seconds till this amp spawns. We're going to watch what control kind of happens here as Special's in midair gets plucked down. Yeah, the sniper rifle versus a midair uh, boot jump like that. Sniper rifle's going to win every time. We got the amp up. Only a couple amps left in this one. Lavak grabbing one. He goes down. And Scream's going to take it right back, but it is a tie game. Scream has been on a roll this game, though. I think largely fighting over the pit. So now he's going to try to jump out of here and get some twitchy hit scan business going on in mid. They do get the lead back now, up by two. Right now, just trades happening all over the place. Flak versus Shock, close range. Oh, and Matt wins that one super low on health, though. So Memphis is going to fo follow it up with the Enforcer kill. Lavak with a couple kills for his side. So we're just seeing kills going back and forth across the map. No real power-ups to speak of. Oh, nice patient headshot by Scream. Just waits for him to land. Not even going to mess with the wall dodges. Nobody's got time for that. Takes his head off. Waiting for the 100 armor. Looks like they're not going to get... Oh, nice combo. We're just waiting for them to come up to try to contest. So 100 armor going to be his. We're going to move over to the belt. And belt and amp going to spawn simultaneously, basically. Screams down there waiting for the shield for the uh, jump boots to get up to that shield belt. It's gonna have a couple seconds difference, so the belt's up. Amp is up. Nobody's up top. Nobody waiting for either power up. Boots are in the box hands. He's gonna grab. Amp has a little bit of armor. And down by one. This is a huge opportunity for Lavoc to try to pull back in this one and maybe even take the lead. It's a little bit of link damage. He's got two players on either side, so he doesn't want to risk it. Just needs one more hit on Memphis to get the kill. There it is. Killing spree. Pulling back within two. Doesn't want to dive out into any combos. A smart play there, but running out of time is half abs. Oh, there's a big kill there by Lavoc. Turns that corner. Pulls within one. Another shot on special. One shot away. And there it is. Getting another kill to stay within one. You got trades coming across the map. Every kill is so huge right now. See Lavoc controlling those jump boots. He's going to wait for that next belt. The entire SOW team hanging out in the pit. Dangerous spot. They take out Lavac, who dives right into him. Didn't realize. Belt is up now. 
This will be the last one of the game. Matt grabs it. That could be huge. In a tie game with a minute and a half to go. We will have one more amp in 24 seconds, but we've got a little bit of time. So right now, look at these teams as they jockey for position and half apps takes the lead up by two now. I don't think half apps has been up before this point. Correct me if I'm wrong, but back and forth. These teams have been all game long. Amp in seven seconds. This is going to be perhaps the most critical pickup of the game. And again, not just who grabs it, but who can actually score some points off it. Two people respawn down by it for SOW. They're getting shot left and right. Another respawner over there. Labot grabs it with the link gun. He's going to be able to chase down these spawners. Only 8 HP. He needs a teammate near him. He goes down. Memphis getting him with the flat, but half abs looking, looking at a five frag lead with 30 seconds to go. Screams has a little bit of armor, so he can make a push to try to run into the teeth of half abs and try to get some kills. But a nine frag jump, and look at that. Matt with the amp in his hands now to try to put it away. Oh, and there you go. An 11 frag lead, 12 now. Just in the last 90 seconds or so, half abs really turned it on. So that's going to do it. Ending it strong as half abs, but a back and forth game. It was basically dead even until about the last minute. And that the last round of power ups really a huge turnaround for half abs. SOW was respawning right around that amp, had a chance to grab it. Half abs kept their composure and found all of those respawners. Was able to convert all of those into kills. And a comeback victory to secure the third point of this matchup. Moving into the dual rounds. So the scoreboard on that one's going to make it look like it was a bit of a one-sided game, but make no mistakes, people who look at the, the entire match, that was one of the closest TDM games we've had so far in this season. So well played by both sides, back and forth, neck and neck for good probably eight minutes straight just playing tug of war. So now moving on into the dual portion of this matchup. Screams versus Sir on Leah to get us kicked off. And then we're going to see VO3 versus Exit Next Right. Uh, Flow first duel is about to kick off. It'll be Screams versus Sir, Leah and Coma, and if need be, Solo. I believe they're going to be starting that one on probably the New York Hub. I'm guessing New York Cubs. We'll be uh, waiting for that one to kick off here shortly. Probably looking at, I mean, you're looking at anywhere from four to six maps between now and the end of this matchup. Um, they're dual maps, so you're probably looking at about an hour to an hour and a half until the next match starts, until L3 versus half abs. So that's just an estimate, though. I mean, obviously, if someone goes up by 15 in two minutes and people... Uh, <laughs> uh, that said, I mean, you know... You can talk to the admins here. I mean, we're not scheduled to start L3 versus half abs until uh, 1830 CET, which I think is, I don't even know. I'm done doing math. It's too early to do math, but you still got a little bit of time. But as it is, we're gonna jump in here and take a look at the match in front of us. Go. 
go. So service is screams. Gonna get us started with map one. Again, these are gonna be two best of threes. Both teams jockeying for position in that fourth through eighth zone in our final standings. As you guys poke around uh, this map as they're kind of, you know, getting warmed up. One interesting thing to consider, there's been a couple of articles coming out, you know, the UT 20th anniversary. Um, Rock, Paper, Shotgun, for instance, wrote one about Face Classic and the development of that map, and they talked about poly counts. I think they said, I think they said the poly counts for maps were uh, 160. They had to keep them too, so just, just think about that. Like, one gun in this game probably has more polygons than an entire map did. And UT99, so just kind of a uh, kind of amazing to think about and consider, you know, that the uh, advancement of technology since then. players are ready here we go three two one it's game time baby connex five here kicking off the dual portion of this matchup we just saw a nail biter on deck to finish off the 4v4 portion but half lap still staying on top up three points to none so far in this matchup and again they've got a double header here if they can pull off all 10 points today have a chance to end up in fourth place from last place because again they had a matchup game so don't pay too much attention to those rankings on the website. It's all about the point totals. And sir, right now, jumping out on top early. Ooh, rocket up close. Sir, likes to get in your face, finishing you off. There you go. Rockets to link would not shock me to see uh, Rockets to link to be the most important weapon combination on this map. We've seen that over and over. Players really like to uh, use, you know, shock rifle, use those combos to catch people around corners, use the primary to push people away. But ultimately, rockets, flak, and a little bit of ooh, a link gun can really turn the tide in this game, or excuse me, on this map in particular. Oh, just a little bit of splash damage from those rockets, keeping them guessing. Sir, though, eating some flak. So he's going to be on the run. You see the chase down. Nice backwards run to avoid. The flak chase. So 100 armor will go to Screams. Earned himself that with all that damage. Now he's going to be trying to hunt him down. Sir, just waiting to take that pot shot. Causes Screams to run back a little bit, but he will have a, a good chance to take this shield belt to sir only at 61 hp knocks him down with a combo but then he's going to go ahead and run away don't think he wants to give up a kill here Ooh, anti combo does no damage but does make sir think twice about setting up for that 100 armor it looks like scream's gonna grab it 
Sir is still looking extremely low on armor, but Screams also hasn't really healed himself up completely. There we go. So Screams going to be in a great position to grab more health files and get his stack of health even higher. Sir, for his part, though, back up to 116 over 51, so all he needs is another armor piece, and he'll be feeling a little bit better. And it must be said, Sir at times has a somewhat unorthodox style. You can see him doubling back. You can see him conceding hundreds. You can see him doing things that uh, kind of isn't isn't the same normal formula that a lot of players will play as. So Screams at times here seems to be facing the wrong direction, perhaps not being able to guess kind of where, where uh, Sir is coming from. See if that plays into things uh, as we get further on into, the, into this match. Some of those same prediction rockets and combos that you use against most other players won't necessarily work against Sir. It'll be Scream's job to try to force fights over power-ups. You see him not even getting into any, any of those typical shot combo fights over the 100 armors there. Sir perfectly content to grab a 50 and try to stack back up that way. Really trying to bait Screams into chasing him. Oh, it drops down in his face, though. And the Rocket versus Flak up close. I'm not sure if Sir meant to do that, but he managed to damage Screams pretty heavily and then get himself back up to 88 health. Now Screams going to be on the run. And this could be the first 100 armor that Sir challenges, and there he goes, finishes him off. So you see Sir playing very conservatively, not even challenging unless he knows he has some advantage. He also... Ooh, nice dodge there. But that flat ball from behind, gonna put him down to 18 HP. This would be Scream's chance to chase him down and get on the board. See Scream just waiting to throw flat balls down that hallway. And that shield belt gonna go. The Scream's untouched. Ooh, that that big combo just barely missed. That allows Flack, uh, Screams to get in his face with Flack. Take him out and get on the board. But now Sir's got the 100 in his hands, chasing him down with the Stinger. Down to 31 HP as we play Ring Around the Rosie with a nice slide underneath to escape. But now Screams has to be a little bit more defensive here. He's got one health bubble in front of him. Ten seconds until the, uh... Until the Shock... Excuse me, until the uh, 100 armor spawns. Shock Rifle in Screams' hands. Looks like he's going to be perfectly happy to just sit there. You have a nice uh, audio bug there for you. In case you forgot about that one. And there's Screams. Getting snuck up on the full flat primer. Going to take him out. And he's going to go for the spawn kill here. Trying to deny him that weapon. There's the flat primary. Trying to hit him one more time. There it is. And Sir with the hyper aggression. Not concerned with trying to uh, pick up the armor, just wants more kills off. It does just just catch him with the uh, corner of that one. And Screams already conceding. So a 6-1 to one win for Sir in map 1. They're going to move map 2 over to London. So map one, Leah, going to Sir. We're gonna have map two be, uh, what do we got here? Looks like Coma. So Coma gonna be a little bit, a little bit more open, a little bit more of a medium range map. Uh, but as we've seen earlier today, Rockets and Flack can still come into play on Coma. Certainly not a wide open map by any means.
players are in the server. Again, map two, Koma. We will have at least one more duel in this matchup. So far, sir, one map away from getting his team the fourth point of the day. Here's the countdown. Three, two, one, and it's game time, baby. Kind X5 here with map two. We got Sir versus Scream. Sir taking map one in dominant fashion. Scream's trying to send it to a map three. Oh, and shots right off the bat. Sir hitting two. Another one, another one. Sir on fire right now. Getting up early, and if he can frustrate Screams early on, another shot. Sir just missing nothing right now. That said, Screams knows he's low on health. Oh, a nice combo by Sir. Pops through the teleport, places it perfectly. Sir catches Screams out of the corner of his eye. We've seen how he played on Leah. He's not willing to give up an easy kill. He'd rather give up an armor and get stacked back up and beg him to chase him down. Screams may have to adjust his playstyle a little bit because not everybody plays like that. We've seen a lot of players that are willing to willing to take dangerous chances, even with the lead, in order to contest the power-up. Ooh, sir, had a combo lined up. Couldn't make it happen. Scream's going to be trying to chase him down. Oh, the close-range fight by the 100 armor. Sir with rockets. Screams with only a shock rifle and a sniper rifle. Manages to get away. Perhaps a lucky uh, spot there for Screams, as he uh, definitely had the wrong weapon out. Managed to get the most of the damage. So again, Sir going to be playing conservatively, conservatively backing up. Ooh, rockets coming out, and Sir this time has the rockets again up close. And smart move by Sir mid-fight, backing up into those health packs. You see that amongst some of the better players. Essentially doubles your health. Whenever you can take multiple shots, heal right back up and stand in there. But Screams does earn himself a... Ooh, almost had a huge combo there. Had the 100 armor. Could have gotten a kill, but didn't know he was right there. And Sir again trying to keep him broken down with those rockets and link up close. However, shield belt is spawned and neither player in position for it. So Sir, you can see, Screams with the chase down and Sir actually backs up off of the belt. So the belt, a very strange timing now. And 100 armor spawning right now. So you can see what Screams is doing. He's just keeping that 100 armor in his back pocket. He's gonna try to push the issue. But 100 doesn't give him anything right now. So he's gonna basically try to jump in, do some damage. And I bet he's gonna back up to the 100 armor now, having taken some damage. Yep, yeah, he's gonna do just that. So now, Belt and 100 will spawn at about the same time. And that actually might benefit Sir. Keep an eye on that. If next time the Belt spawns, if Screams is in position for it, See if Sir backs up and gets that 100 armor because now it's not offset by as much. Ooh, big combo and Sir. Down to 43 HP. One more kill finishes him off. Scream's finally able to catch up to him with some narrow threading the needle combos and now he's got a chance to chase him down. Oh, but Sir with those rockets using the lip to get away. Very crafty and now we've got that situation. 100 armor is up and the belt is also up and you see Scream's realizing that Gonna try to give chase to Sir and chase him off of both. Knocks him off the 100 armor. And Sir, not gonna go for the belt. So interesting move there. I thought maybe he would have an opportunity to get one or the other. But playing so conservatively here. We'll see if that works out for him. Because right now he's running around with zero armor. So see if he can basically survive long enough to get some sort of armor in him. He was able to do that on Leah at times. up close and this is where sir is in trouble when you don't have any armor that link gun can melt you in a hurry one shot by scream is going to take out sir very surprised actually to see him stand in there and fight over that now if he gets a spawn kill here screams can tie it up and have complete control of this map and this can be trouble for sir oh the falling 180 sniper shot hits another one down to 16 hp if sir can find him he can take him out not in time Oh, there he goes, actually. Dives right into the link gun. So, Sir, back in the driver's seat. Three seconds till both armors spawn. I'm not sure if Sir has timing of them. But he does manage to grab that belt and right back in the lead. 
Ooh, but Scream's chasing him down now with that shock rifle. Oh, Sir misses that rocket. One of the first rockets he's really missed all day. Oh, and eats him alive with that Lincoln. That jump pad, so dangerous whenever you're facing a link gun. Now Sir just listening for him, trying to anticipate his movement. Big combo from underneath. You heard the footsteps. Ooh, just almost kisses that flak ball, though. You saw the smiley face whiz by. And halfway through this one, it is very tight back and forth with Sir on top. Oh, Scream's in his face with Flack. Sir, though, with a close range shot three in a row. Now Scream's has to be careful here. If that Lincoln comes out, he could kill him with one shot. But Sir down to two HP himself. Doesn't want to give up anything big. Oh, opportunity for a combo. Doesn't quite connect. Scream's getting a bit lucky there. And now Sir gets the shield belt, but only two HP. He's going to be very, very carefully tiptoeing around the map, waiting for health to spawn and trying to just get whatever he can. He doesn't need any more armor at this point. He desperately needs health. And you see they're falling down that sniper rifle and circling back over towards these health bubbles, waiting for them to spawn. Again, somewhat unorthodox. Sir does not move around maps the exact same way as a lot of the other players, so... Scream is going to have to keep his eyes and ears open. When he's had luck this game, it's whenever he can anticipate him with a combo or a rocket or something and chip him down, catch him uh, catch him in a corner. Ooh, two more shots coming out. Trading shock shots, and uh, ooh, Scream's on the run now, trying to chase him down. Still plenty of time for Scream's to wait for his opportunity, but Sir's not giving him a whole lot of openings here. Shield Belt does spawn, Sir. Knocking him off, but one more shot could do it. Both players weak, but Screams has to get some more health in him. And Sir might be happy to just run out the clock here and give him that 100 armor and allow Screams to get back up to full health. Oh, missing the combo. Screams had an opportunity there. Maybe he wasn't expecting to see uh, Sir there, but anyway, missed the shot. Under three minutes to go, and both players back up to decent health. Combo doesn't do much, but it does turn him away for a second. Rockets to the face. Sir might try to finish him off here. There's another rocket. Trading back and forth in the headshot by Sir. Puts him down, down by three with under three minutes to go. Scream's going to have a tough time climbing back now as the clock is completely on Sir's side. Does get in his face with Flacco. This is the chance. Screams have been looking for another flat primary. Breaks him down to 7 HP. Anything will kill him. There it is, the full flak through the teleporter. So Screams back within two. But Screams only has 54 HP. Doesn't want to get caught up in a link gun. Making good use of the flak balls. Chipping down Sir after getting that belt. Up close with the flak. This is what he wants. Gets one shot off. Oh, he misses that flak primary. That second primary after the ball. That's what Screams really wanted. And there's still time here, but that's going to make, make it much less likely. He had a really good opportunity there, that one shot that he really wanted. And Sir now in great position to try to finish this one off. And uh, give half abs another point on the board. So Belt is spawning right now. Screams, you see, kind of getting desperate, running out of time. And uh, Sir, with that finishing kill, that one's probably going to do it. There's the concede. And so you can see the pickup's not really telling the story there. Sir just uh, playing very conservatively, like picking his spots, getting exactly what he wanted when he wanted it. And uh, really, that was the difference in this game. So, first duel round, going to half abs, taking now four straight points, which is absolutely crucial for them. Uh, you know, no pun intended. Again, looking at those rankings, climbing up, already doubling. So, with four points so far, give you a quick look while they get the next duel game set up. So, half abs already doubling the number of points they have for the season up to eight. So, that pulls them already up to sixth place. And within striking range 
of G and BRD who are tied for fourth. And again, there are some other games that are gonna, Half Fab's gonna play L3 right after this one. And I believe SOW will play BRD in the future. So still some other games to happen, but Half Fab's doing what they need to do right now to pull themselves back into the race in this season. So coming up next, we are gonna have the last duel of this matchup, VO3 versus Exit Next Right. That's gonna be on Leah and Deep, and ASDF will be the tiebreaker there. And then don't forget, L3 Limited Edition will be playing against Half Abs right after that, with a chance for Half Abs again to, they've already doubled their season's points just in this round. Really a chance to move up the rankings there, but L3 on their side, Currently tied for sixth place, so, or excuse me, currently uh, in sixth place alone before today, so also a chance for them to kind of uh, solidify their final finishing spot in this season, so a lot left to play for in these last games. I believe we'll be playing on New York next, so they're probably just setting up the instance right now. I guess it would be a good time to mention they do have bot commands now. It looks like uh, looks like Fragim went ahead and added some commands. You've got the exclamation point follow and exclamation point tip commands. So if you want to throw in some tips to the prize pool or uh, you know follow them on social media, that'll give you a list of all of that info. Of course, there's also all of the stuff you can do with the uh, the Twitch profile right here. Pubs are still quiet. I think everyone in North America waking up late today, sleeping in after their uh, Thanksgiving partying hangovers. European pubs are pretty active, though. So just looking for this hub to go up and uh, should be getting started here shortly. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure it's gonna be in New York because I think that's uh, that's kind of the structure they've been doing here. Map one on New York and map two in London. So yeah, we do, of course, have the, uh, in chat, the speculation for this dual game. Oh, there it is. Okay, it looks like we do have the game up. Jumping into it right now. Should be getting started here shortly. Uh, to clarify for today, yeah, we've got we've got this game, and then we have Half Abs versus L3, and that will be the end. We're gonna have a three match, a short play day this week. We have another date 
in the future that we're going to have two makeup games played. So again, we're not going to get complete and total final rankings today, despite being the, uh, the last originally scheduled week of the season. But we'll have a very good idea. All right, looks like players are ready to go here. We go 3 2 1, and it's game time, baby. Connex 5. We're here with the last duel of this matchup. Half app so far. Looking to stay perfect in the combo underneath. Exit next right. Looking confident early on. Threading the needle with that combo. And another kill. Big combo across the map, so exit right now. Looking like he uh, is pretty comfortable on this map with the combos. Prediction all over the place. And up. Uh, forgive me if I'm saying it wrong. Is it just VO3? Is that just how you'll uh, pronounce his name? In any case. On the run a little bit early on, down three to nothing and, and exit up to 180 over 100. So quick start and there's the belt in his hands. 100 armor will be spawning now. Anticipate a fight over that. And it looks like VO3 happy to uh, kind of concede this 100 armor. And you see exit next right, doing what you're seeing a lot of players do these days, which is ignore that 100 armor, both throwing off the timing of their opponent and also allowing them to back up into that if they need to. If they do take some damage pushing forward, Playing it almost like an elimination game. They can kind of push forward, face check them, and if they take any damage, just fall back and scoop it right back up. But right now, exit next right, 199 over 150. Very rarely do you see players completely stacked in duel. But uh, we're seeing that right now. As VO3, I think, just wanted to sort of slow things down after a blazing start by exit. And that 100 armor is still up, so... VO3 grabbing it there, but it basically wasn't touched. See Exit trying to bait him into it again. Ooh, he caught him with a combo the first time just to start this match off. Gonna grab it there. Ooh, another big combo by Exit, who has just been predicting him. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, from his perspective, an Exit next right. Just continues really favoring that Shock Rifle. Which is kind of interesting because, again, we've seen this map be one where people want to use Shock Rifle to control. And then Rockets, Flak, and Link can end up actually being big boons to, to certain players while well, a big weakness for others. But right now, we see the Rockets coming out, trying to close that gap. And after all that, Exit's still at 99 over 50 because it was so stacked. You basically have to kill someone twice when you're, when you're that stacked up, so. Oh, big combo by Exit. Gives up the belt, and that saved him. If, if VO3, if he doesn't grab that belt, he dies. Instead, he grabs it, ends up with low health, somehow gets away. This does give him a chance to fight back into this one now. Has control of that 100 armor. Plenty of time left. But of course, that four frag deficit and uh, exit so far has just been predicting him. Oh, he misses wrong. Guess is wrong there. Misses the combo. There's the rockets. And now we may see, uh, may see a run coming from the other side. So exit's got to be careful for his side. Trying to get this last point of the matchup for half abs. So they'll be trying to get on the board of their own. Hear those items being picked up, so you see Exit trying to dance around with that, ooh, that belt grab, completely untouched. Ends up taking damage afterwards though, so Exit down to 16 HP versus 85. He's gonna be on the run, trying to dance around and just get his way over to some health. Kind of surprised to see Exit even standing in this much, cost him right there, only at 21 HP. So it was surprised to see him even challenge that 100 armor. 
And now we're about the halfway point of this one. And Exit still with a two frag lead, but no control over this one currently. We'll see what happens over the next couple minutes. from both sides they're trying to hit that big combo exit just hitting a little bit more damage but that earns him enough control to grab that shield belt and that could be huge if nothing else it's gonna get him enough of a stack to be dictating the flow of combat here you have a fight over the 100 armor nope 100 armor going to exit so a bit of conservative play back and forth Again, there's still plenty of time on the clock. See him just waiting for that opportunity to get those rockets out. Rockets have gotten a couple kills previously. In fact, yeah, both of his kills came from rockets. Ooh, and the sniper shot coming across the way. Trading some damage, but... Again, exit. With the health and armor advantage, pretty much all maps so far. Black Ball's coming out. 100 armor is actually up, so Exit may decide to challenge this. Oh, it looks like he's going to knock him off the belt. Basically just chase him away. And now Exit in a foot race to the 100 armor could actually beat him there. Ooh, almost a huge combo. Does get a big one. Down to 40 damage. There's the combo. Exit's going to get a kill, and he's going to look for the follow-up. Looks like he's not even going to grab the 100 armor. Oh, he's chasing him down. Okay, he's got him down by the, uh, the shock rifle. You see him waiting for that shock rifle to spawn. Oh, kills himself with goo on exit. So exit though, down to nine HP. Has to be careful. Still 30 seconds till the belt spawns, so. You see exit kind of on the run. Flat ball to the face with the flat primary follow-up. You see him trying to track him down. Three kills in three minutes. Very possible on Leah. Fifty up, gonna be Flak versus Sniper. Who exit with a smart move? That's a heads up play there by Exit. Just gets out of there and grabs that belt, allows him to get in position to try to push him away from the hundred armor. And again, Exit doesn't even need that hundred armor. All he has to do is survive. So, actually, probably a smart move, abandoning that hundred in order to try to trace down Exit. You see him trying to get in position to bait him with a combo. And 169 over 100, you can see he's totally stacked right where he wants to be, but has to close that gap. And Exit just baiting him to all these combos. You can see he's baited him with those rockets. Oh, nice use of the jump pad and the flag ball to the face. And that's a huge shot right there, completely obliterating his stack. And if Exit gets one more kill here, it's probably all over. So you can see the defensive play there backing up. armor coming out back under two minutes so the last minute was a great opportunity to come back in and exit next right was a little bit on the ropes but he baited him with that flat ball and nobody landing any rockets right now any of these three packs would be huge but down to 90 seconds to go oh the clock not gonna be oh too close to Back to back, both players charging up rockets, neither one finding each other. Kind of running into each other in a dark room. Turning the corner, nobody getting a kill, but there's one kill on exit. So here we go, a minute to go. Oh, he spawns right in front of him. The shock rifle spawn, a dangerous place to be. Rockets up close with the juggle. If exit can get away here, this would be massive. Gets away, gets that 100 armor, still low though, 52 HP. Time is ticking though, the dodging around, and he manages to lose him for a minute. Exit next right, only three health. He does go down, and now it's 48 seconds. And we're one kill away from overtime. And he doesn't have to worry about dying at all. Look at that, 100 over 150. So right now, he's just trying to track down Exit, who has 35 seconds to survive. 
Oh, exit doubles back into him. Could be a mistake. Rocket's coming out. He's trying to bait him into a combo. He's going to dive right at him. Has no, oper no other choice. Knocks him off the 100. This is his chance to finish him off. And exit hits the clutch shot, primary shot. He's still low in health. But if he can get one more shot, that will do it. Up by three with 20 seconds to go. Exit next right. With the under pressure, close range shock primary juggles. He had about three or four shots he absolutely had to hit. And that's all it took to solidify this win. So a back and forth battle. And uh, exit next right coming out on top. All right, so Leah going to exit next right. Back and forth, tense moments there. We're gonna see Deep coming up next. So I think they're going to be moving over to London. Up to 75 viewers. So, all right, welcome everyone. Again, I know a lot of you uh, North American folks Probably just now rolling out of bed. We're in the midst of a, like, like a long vacation weekend. Finishing it off with some video games and some leftovers. Appreciate you for that. Again, to update everyone, short week this week. We've only got three matchups. Uh, we have two makeup matches that are going to happen in the next couple weeks. So we'll keep an eye on that. I'll, I'll wait for the official word on uh, you know when those are officially scheduled, but. Those, of course, with big implications for top two spots, uh, as well as some of the middle spots as well. We do have the top three solidified, but four through eight wide open right now at half abs. One map away from taking their fifth point of the match, more than doubling their season score so far. And that would push them in great position to try to finish up in the top half of the season, or top half of the teams this season. Yeah, Hobo, it's actually brilliant here. It's a little bit chillier, but I mean, the sun came out. It's, it would actually be a great day to be outside. If I could roll my desk outside and cast from my backyard, I totally could. In fact, I could definitely run, hmm, I could run a, a I could run a Cat5 cable out my window. We got the fire pit right there. I might be able to make this happen sometime. Oh, maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do a, a stream sometime that's just my fire pit and us hanging around it. Here we go, both players in. We are on deep. So exit next right. Pulling ahead early with a quick start on Leah. Ends up hanging on in a back and forth battle. Now we're here on deep for map two, trying to finish things strong for half abs or SOW trying to put, trying to get on the board in their last opportunity to throw some points up for this season. Here we go, it's game time, baby. Connex five here with map two between these two. We are on DM Deep. This is one where a lot of crafty play involved. You've got a lot of grates and a lot of areas through the map, windows you can shoot through. So map knowledge is going to come into play big time here. You can also knock people off the map in a couple spots. So keep an eye on that. You see those health bubbles he's looking at. Those are going to be very key. Those are the central point of the map. So anytime a fight happens, both players are going to look to reconvene there, whether it's somebody coming in off the spawn Oh, nice shot there by Exit, just waiting. Knew he was going to be coming around the corner, looking for that, and you see him. 
Exit going for those health bubbles. BO3 knows he was looking for him. Oh, the anti combo. Gotta be careful of that. That can definitely knock you off the map. Gonna exit in position to grab that belt. You see him giving up that hunter, trying to catch him through the window. Couple of decent rockets there. Oh, and the sniper rifle falling away. So both players extremely weak. If anyone pulls out Linker Stinger, they can probably get a kill here. But neither one when they take that risk. And you see those health bubbles just waiting for them to spawn. Yo3 knows he's going for him with the lined up shot. Oh, a little bit late. And trying to chase him down. Exit. Heard him coming. Got out of got out of the way just in time. So already a lot of cat and mouse happening between these two. Oh, and you see there, trying to get the lock on rockets, actually conceding the 100 armor, but gets the kill. So a nice play there by Exit. Using that 100 armor as bait, we saw him do that a couple times on Leah. Pays off, he's gonna have to be careful here. He's at this hunt, he's at the shield belt a little bit early. People like to throw things like goo and rockets at this uh, belt from long distance, just in case they have a chance of knocking you off the map. Doesn't happen there, but he does give up the 50 armor. Black, flying towards his face, but turning away with that shock ball yet again. And again, this is a map where you can throw shock balls up and down the grates. A lot of tricky shots you can make on this map. You see one right there. Ooh, doesn't quite connect. That's probably the prettiest shot combo of the day that did zero damage. Isn't that always how it works, right? Oh, just misses one right there. Might have gotten some damage output from that one. But you see what he's going for. He's trying to use this map to its fullest, catching his opponent off guard. Combos from all sorts of directions. It's sort of like Curse from UT99, but turned up even higher with the verticality and dropping shots on people's heads from all different angles. Some interesting movement here by Exit. Trying to be sneaky, trying to zone his opponent away from this belt. Looks like he's not even going to be challenged, though. So VO3, happy to just back off right now and try to... Stack back up on health files, perhaps. He can challenge exit next right, or exit next right right now. But exit on his side. Ooh, combo up there just a step away. Another combo does some damage. Down to 100 HP. Still a little bit of armor for VO3. Exit next right, going up top, wisely picking up those health files. A lot of times you'll see fights where people get caught up with the armors, completely forget about how many health files there are in this map. Well, easy lined up shot there for exit next right. So exit's going to be running around with a big health advantage. Only up two though, so at some point he's going to have to make a move to turn that into another kill. Ooh, close range flat, dangerous. Shocks him off though, pushes him back with that shock primary. Perhaps a bit of a, of a lucky break there. VO3 unable to really challenge him, so Exit's going to just dive at his face with Link. Nice ring around the rosy <laughs> action going on there. Oh, and VO3 with a nice combo catching him, making that lift jump. Not sure if that was a guest or if he actually saw uh, a pattern in Exit's movement. But brings it back even in his face with the, shot, with the uh, flat primary. Shot versus flat, we saw Exit hit shock after shock to end Leah. And really put it away. Hits a couple key shots there as well. VO3 down to one hit. Goes down. And now up three to nothing. Oh, and exit with another chance to get another kill on the board. He's going to back up and play a little bit more conservatively. But we're halfway through this one. And uh, currently in control. But still plenty of time. Ooh, big combos coming out. Oh, and big move by VO3, knocking him off the off the map. Or I guess killing him off the edge there, but knocking him off the belt. Almost off the map. And now VO3 in firm control of this map, taking it right back. Got a couple weapons. He's got control of shock. He's got shield belt in him. And a chance to take control of this 100 armor as well. You see him baiting him. Oh, big combo pulling within one. This could be trouble for exit next right if he gets a little too eager. Oh, 
Oh, there's multiple shots coming out. Exit, though, one shot away from a kill, but you see those mid health bubbles, so important. Oh, big combo comes out from above, answering what Exit was doing to him earlier, shooting through those grates. And you see what I was talking about, that guess. Guessing he would go for those middle health bubbles. Black versus Black up close. This could be a huge fight. Couple shards flying around. Exit down to 11 HP. VO3 trying to track him down. 100 armor does go to Exit. Belt's going to go to VO3, but your Exit, you have to get health in you right now. Only 11 HP gets to those mid bubbles, but only grabs one. And this is his opportunity to try to tie this one up, but Exit being very shifty right now. Listening very carefully, both combos coming in close, but neither one doing damage. And now exit back up to 96 over 100 and ready to stand in and fight if he needs to. Shock duel is going back and forth. Exit next right has basically been winning the shock duel so far in this one. But the flak and rockets kind of going back and forth between these two. Up close flak. They're going to be in and out, in and out, bobbing and weaving. Still so much time on this clock that uh, neither player wants to give up another kill. 10 seconds till this belt spawns. VO3 is going to have to make his way over there soon. He's actually a little bit out of position. This could be a huge grab if he doesn't get over there to contest this belt and Exit's able to take it. He gets over there now, but perhaps losing the timing of it. And Exit grabbing that belt. Getting away relatively clean. That could be a huge misstep there if VO3 gives up relatively free belt there. I think he should have had control of that one. But as it is, still plenty of time. Oh, a big combo from below. Down to 23 HP. Exit, making him pay. Still has time. He knows he's going for those health bubbles. Oh, just mistimes it, though. Oh, and the anti combo takes Exit down to one. And the tables turn very quickly there. Now VO3 with the chance to tie it up. He can get one shot on him. Doesn't see where he shot him from. But uh, able to pick up some health, fortunately, uh, for VO3. And Exit next right is going to be on the run down to 26 HP. With two minutes to go, this will not do for him. He's going to absolutely need to heal back up. He's got 15 seconds to the belt, 10 seconds to the 100 armor. Ooh, exit. Going for the 50. Gets caught out with rockets. This could be a problem. He goes down. Tie game with two minutes to go. And this is the biggest opportunity VO3's had of this match so far. Belt in his hands with less than two minutes to go. Oh, the big combo by Exit. He hasn't hit those just yet. He's caught him going every single time and not able to damage him. Oh, misses the huge combo. That right there might have been a game changer. Both players missing their shots at this point. Just waiting for the chance to get a big combo. Exit next right's got more HP. Oh, the big flak ball and the primary to follow it up. Pretty much even on health. A little bit more armor. Oh, but Exit grabs the 100 and gets comboed down to 27 HP. But he's right there for the mid health bubbles. VO3 with the prediction headshot right underneath. And that could be the game winner if he can finish him off. Exit trying to bait him. Pretty much playing for overtime at this point. He knows those mid health bubbles are gone because he just took them. So neither player able to heal up. You've got shield belt spawning right now. VO3 is going to have that. And a health advantage. Exit still looking for health. There's just not much up in this map. And he doesn't want to risk taking those mid health bubbles. Being predictable. You can hear him bouncing around the map. BO3 trying to track him down. As I'm trapped, who cannot connect that combo. And that might be the opportunity Exit needed to push this one into overtime and at least buy himself some time. Only up to 90 health at this point. 100 armor is up. So BO3 in great position here, but couldn't finish it off in regulation. And that's going to give Exit Next Right a chance to fight his way back into this one. Belt up in 10 seconds. There's one big combo from Exit. Still a health and armor advantage for VO3, but 100 armor still up. Neither player really going for it. Okay, VO3 is going to grab 100. Will that give the shield belt to Exit, though? We've seen him do this earlier where he mistimed it a little bit. It does. That could be a huge play. Big combo in. Players damaging back and forth. Exit's got the advantage again. And a minute and a half to go.
So we're switching over to Exit's perspective. He's got the shield belt in him, and you see these two. So familiar with this map. Just trying to bait each other out. There's one shock primary. Exit's been very confident with the shock primaries in both games so far. Ooh, almost eats a combo, almost gives a combo. Said neither side. Able to connect, there's a big one. Down to 38 HP as VO3 is gonna be heading over. Where's the armor? Oh, exit next right. Had him predicted perfectly. Couldn't connect the combo. Couldn't connect the second one. And now, 88 over 100 VO3 escapes that situation. But another big combo. And this is his opportunity to finish it off. One more shot. Does it. 40 seconds to go. Exit next right on top. All he has to do is survive now. Trying desperately to get over to that shield belt. And misses the piston, but ends up fine. And now VO3 has to be hyper aggressive here. He's got to dive at him with, with Goo, looking for the home run shot, has rockets in his hand. 100 damage rocket. He's still got 25 seconds if he can track him down. A couple more rockets will do it. He's on top of him. He has an opportunity here. Oh, looking for the air rocket. Not going to happen. Okay. On top, chasing him away. Exit next right. With the bounce back right there off the lift, that's going to win it for him. In overtime, two back and forth matches between these two. But as it is, half abs gonna go out, taking all of their points this match. Absolutely critical for them. Again, we'll take a look at the rankings. Half abs in last place, but five points on the board there. So that's gonna push them up to sixth. And they're gonna have five more potential points when they play L3 coming up next, the number six team that they just surpassed on the leaderboards. So we're gonna take a quick break, but definitely stick around. 